Smoking section, Jelly Roll. I was talking to a guy that I respect dearly the other day. Okay. And he told me not to get so distracted fighting the alligators that I forget to clean the swamp. And it took me a second to think about what he was really saying. But he was saying, don't let my problems distract me so much dealing with them, I forget my mission. Hey baby mm. brother, how you doing? The street's still holding. The last time I seen you, you ain't seen so focused. Can't believe I ain't noticed. I can't believe I missed it. Life been crazy, man. Fast life living while struggling. Sitting in prison, I'm sitting there tripping. And I'm sitting here wishing that you were sitting here with me. But you're not, I'm all alone. Trying to write the song. Sipping on some bourbon and blowing a little strong. This is he say struggle was in the, in the prison? Is he talking about struggle Jennings here? I don't know if I misheard that, but let me know in the comment section if that's the case. It's therapeutic music, so I'm taking my time. Figure while I had a second, I would drop you the line. Me and Ray are doing well, man. Don't worry about us. I bet your ass up the chill and probably rolling the dub. Hold on, what? Oh, if my PO ask, I hang drywall. I get it. It's a drug. It's a drug joke. Sorry for making it lame, but I wonder why this guy vanished. Did he pass away, or is this a reference to someone? I mentioned your name and every hardship is a blessing and this is the same it's been 16 years that doesn't lessen the pain because your death was the first hand lesson on AIDS I'm just mm. riding through my old neighborhood reminiscing the life that I was living man I was tripping I grew up around sinners that was trying to win people living to die but they was dying to live. Think I grew up around sinners that was trying to win hmm that's interesting right I always think about that when, when, when you think of people who are out there, you know, from the outside perspective, you know, you rob someone or you take something away from someone else. Um, when you're in a position where you see that as your only option, it, it's just, essentially like you put yourself in that foot. And if you see that as the only option, is that person wrong for doing it in their minds themselves, right? About you every now and then I ride by the crib, call it the crib, but my mother has some lived there in years. Meanwhile, my cousin came home from doing a bit. Gave the man an iPhone and he didn't know what it is. He's been in there for a while then, if he doesn't know what an iPhone is. Did it. That and the fact you got struck out on the painkillers, the money and fame did it. You tried and you can't quit it. To think it's a shame that your name's in the same sentence as a junkie, a flunky. Your back is the monkey. You used to have it all. The holes in the money had a dream that you killed yourself. Woke up reaching for my phone like you needed my help. But I'm so focused on myself and my dollar doing well. You're a grown man. I have to hope you're going through a spell. But I'm praying for you. And hmm. That's interesting. Again, so the friend, whoever he's speaking about here, or maybe just a, you know, a made-up character, uh, started doing drugs, started overdosing. Now you're in the same sentence as junkies, or the people you would call junkies, or drug addicts, or crackheads, and stuff like that. So you can't really label them that anymore. I mean, you can, but you can't because you are them. So label yourself that, right? But anyway. Uh, so he had a dream that he tried to kill himself, so he called you to, I guess, maybe get some help or whatever it is, but you're in a situation where you have a kid, you, you're trying to raise a happy family, you don't really have time to be helping a grown-ass man uh, take care of himself, you know what I mean? But it's like a conflict there, right? Because that's your friend and you don't want to see him doing bad, but then again, what do you do? You have your your primary focus should be your family. And if it's cutting into that, then 
what do you do there? It, it's, it's the sucky thing about being a human. Emotions is a bitch, I tell you. And I know that you're feeling the pain, but you're an addict. You won't change until you're ready to change. Mm. And I hope you think about your family and get it right. And just know that I will pray for you before I sleep tonight. And me and money talk. I'd like to share this thought while you fighting alligators. Don't forget to clean the swamp. Bob. That beginning part. interesting <laughs> the butthole bat something i would do um another thing i didn't touch on was when he said uh, think about your family and i do have someone that's really close to me that's addicted to alcohol they're an alcoholic so it's like i i have said like think about your kids but then that seems like that doesn't even work right so it's like what what do you do at that point it's like you tell them to think about their family but if you're super addicted that urge is like puts your family second technically so how do you get these people help right especially if you know it's kind of uh, this is what i like about jelly he's, he's keeping it real on the topics he makes he makes you kind of just sit down and realize i like the spoken rap spoken word of uh i like the spoken rap spoken word feel of this song here from jelly god this guy just likes to take me on these kind of trips man it's, <laughs> like just listening to these songs kind of just makes me reflect on my life and shows me how lucky I was to not have a lot of these problems, you know, because I know that it's happening with a lot of people and people who watch me, it's happening with people who used to watch me, people who are going to watch me, it's happening too. I know I do this every song. I relate to certain things or may try to relate to it or try to understand it from their perspective, but I'm going through it like... When I'm listening to a song live, I don't want I don't just want to listen to it and not give my feedback on it and try to see it from the view of the artist because that's what a song is meant for, right? For you to feel it from the view of the artist or they want to paint a picture and you look at the picture and you observe it and you say what you thought about the picture they painted and this is what I think about this picture that Jelly's painting. It doesn't sound painful, but it is, you know? These kind of topics when it comes to addiction, when it comes to losing friends and family and, you know, you can't help someone that can't help themselves or doesn't want to help themselves. But ugh, it's conflicts and human emotion and all of this crap that we got to go through, right? But yeah, I like the song. I like the spoken word aspect. It, it was just a super cool, chill one, you know, not a headbanger. It's just like, listen, relax to this one. But yeah, I want to know your thoughts. And if I ask any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. It's going to be the more jelly. There's going to be more jelly on the channel soon. I know I uh, went a little bit away from a lot of rap, but, you know. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.